Welcome back to Vloxy Present. How are you doing? We hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a metaverse event you need to know about. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. These rumors first started when Twitter user RBX Hunters tweeted something about Metaverse Champions 2. They tweeted, There are rumors that Metaverse Champions 2 should happen in the fall of this year. They even said that the trailer will be released during the 9th Bloxies event, which will take place on September 9. Many Roblox admins have also said that one will take place this year. They tweeted, also, there will be a Bloxy Awards event that will take place in September. During the show, Metaverse Champions 2 will possibly be announced. Also back then, a Roblox admin confirmed one might happen in leaked messages. Many well-known creators and Roblox administrators have also stated that one will take place. The first Metaverse was also recently updated. Unfortunately, there are no major leaks. However, there's a chance we'll get some in the coming months. It's possible that a new event has been leaked. This group, which has this name called Project Lion, included a number of other event organizers. Many devs were working on the game at the Vans event. It was created on April 1 and was updated just a few weeks ago. In addition, two new events may have been leaked. The developers behind many events such as Chipotle, Tai Verde, NFL, Tycoon Events, and others are working on Bike Test, a mysterious game. They are now divided into two groups. This could be a brand new event on the horizon. Okay, since we don't have any idea what will happen, let's take a look back at what happened last year. Metaverse Champions was a Roblox event that took place from April 15 to May 20, 2021. It was the Spring Hunt this year, which was a rebranding of the annual Egg Hunt. The tournament lasted 4 weeks, with up to 48 games per week and 10 to 12 games for each champion. Rithro bundle items, mystery boxes, and an egg are among the prizes available. Starting on May 17, 2021, until the event ended, mystery boxes would open to reveal various items, as well as a grand prize that could be found in the hub and was themed around the winning champion, Sparks Kilowatt. The tiny egg of non-existence was the first spring hunt to feature only one egg. It wasn't perfect though. Users were outraged that a paid access game, Emergency Response Liberty County, was included in week one of the AJ Striker event. Originally, the game could be purchased for 95 Robux, but it was later reduced to 50 Robux. Many users believe AJ Striker's team is at a disadvantage because the developers refused to make the game free for a week. Emergency Response Liberty County was later removed from the game selection pool on April 19th, but the badge continued to count towards the total badge count in the hub until May 14th. Tank Warfare was also chastised for having a pay-to-win game pass, despite the fact that the player could obtain AJ Striker's crate. Despite the fact that the player could obtain AJ Striker's crate without purchasing the game pass. Furthermore, Field Trip Z was chastised for awarding a badge to players on the Fei Yoshida team simply for joining the game, effectively giving Fei Yoshida's team a significant advantage over all the other teams. The developers claimed that Roblox forced them to participate in the event and that they had no choice. Another developer of a different game for the event backed up this claim. On Twitter, the developer urged players to make the game the most popular at the event, promising to donate $1,000 to charity if it did. Shootout and Speedrun Simulator were also panned for the same reason, giving AJ Striker and Fei Yoshida a slight boost. This game is pain has also been criticized for being too difficult for the majority of the players. The badge was given to nearly 5,000 people there, making it the most difficult badge in the competition. However, because of the announcement and the title, this was assumed. 
Also, many games were criticized for having extremely grindy quests. Quests that required many repetitive and or time-consuming objectives. So that is all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Roblox content like this. And much more. We will see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye, everyone.